Good evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us. Our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And viewers, it's indeed a privilege and an honor to be sitting here with Congresswoman-elect Tulsi Gabbard. I'm Tulsi Gabbard. I approve this message because our people deserve a bright future. Tulsi represents a new generation of leaders. Fresh leadership for a bright future. Now, Tulsi, it is such an honor to have you come into, first of all, our community here, to have you here. We're going to hear you speak in just a few moments. And I just want to ask you, first of all, you're Hindu, which most of our viewers are Indo-Caribbean. I would say probably about 80% of the viewers are probably Hindu. And it is just such an inspiration to be sitting with you. And actually my first question to you is, why did you decide to come into our community here? First of all, I would like to say thank you very much for uh, having me and giving me the opportunity to say aloha and namaste to all of your viewers. Uh, while it's a little bit chilly here tonight, <laughs> chillier than I'm used to in Hawaii, uh, I have a sister who lives here in New York and uh, also had the privilege of meeting a one of your city council members, Ruben Wills, who invited me to, to meet some of his extended family and community here and have been really, really uh, appreciative of the warm welcome that I've gotten. Now, can you just tell me a little bit about your background? I mean, we know we've been hearing that you're the first woman, Hindu woman, to add on to that, to become a congresswoman in the Senate. Now, could you just tell me a little bit about your background? Uh, I grew up in Hawaii. I'm the fourth of five kids, three older brothers and a younger sister. And uh, growing up, never ever would have imagined that I would uh, be coming in as a new member of Congress now. And uh, really just am grateful to my parents for raising all of us kids with a very strong ethic and value of service. And that has been uh, the greatest motivating force throughout my life. Um, it has been the, the factor that has um, caused me to make the decisions that I've made and that have brought me uh, here to this place. Uh, I, served it, I serve actually in the, the military, Army National Guard, almost 10 years, and have been deployed to the Middle East uh, a couple of times. Um, also served in our Hawaii State Legislature and Honolulu City Council, and small business owner and, and uh, surfer and martial artist, two things many people don't know about me. All in one. Now, I read that at 21, you were an elect elective official. Now, at 21, I mean, most people are deciding, you know, where do they want to go to college, uh, wh you know, what type of job they want, what do they want to drive, maybe shopping, buying jewelry. But at 21, you were an elected official. Now, what inspired you to do something like that? I recognized uh, the necessity to do more with my life. Uh, while my parents had raised us always to think about how we can serve others, I felt that I wasn't doing enough. And there was an opportunity to run for the State House of Representatives. And while I've, I uh, did not have the normal or expected qualifications that people usually have for that, uh, that office, uh, I worked very hard and I connected with people and tried to share with them my passion for service. Uh, and I was grateful when they placed their trust and confidence in me uh, and gave me the privilege of serving them in the state legislature at that time. Now, January 3rd, you're going to be swearing in, first of all, on the Bhagavad Gita, a first. How is it being a Hindu? Does that help you or hurt you? What would you say? Well, I think that having the privilege of serve in the United States Congress means uh, that you have the privilege of serving not only the people of your district. And for me, uh, I'm blessed to come from such a wonderful state like Hawaii where uh, we celebrate diversity. And our diversity comes from uh, ethnic, religious, cultural uh, diversity from all over Asia and the Pacific uh, and all over the world. Uh, so being able to bring my upbringing uh, from Hawaii to share what we call aloha, which means respect, compassion, and love for all people and standing up and fighting for what's right 
uh, these are the things that I'll be bringing to Congress. Uh, they are all part of my identity and who I am and really has been what has brought me to this place. Now, Tulsi, in January 3rd, when you're sworn in, what would you say is your immediate goal for 2013? To provide the best, highest possible level of service to my constituents. Um, there are many legislative challenges and issues that we're facing, uh, bringing our troops home from Afghanistan, supporting our small businesses, making sure that our children are getting the best possible education they can get, and making sure that the people who allowed me to work for them receive the services that they need, that they are taking care of, uh, those things will be my priorities. Now, we see a lot of change in the world. I mean, we have an African-American president. Do you see in the future a woman president? Without a doubt. Would you see yourself running for president one day? I never imagined that I would be sitting here uh, on the cusp of taking the oath of office to be a member of Congress. So. Uh, I am going to do what I've always done in my life and stay very, very focused on doing the job uh, that I was elected to do and uh, serving my constituents in Hawaii with the best possible service I can give. Now, I know you have to go, but right before I did this, and I see Ruben saying we have to go also, but I just wanted to read something really quick to you that I Googled really quick. It's your name. Tulsi. And most Hindus who are watching this at home would think about Tulsi as in the Tulsi plant, which is a religious plant used in pujas and prayers. But I looked up the meaning of your name and it says here, soul urge number three, Tulsi. People with this name have a deep inner desire to create and express themselves, often in public speaking, acting, writing, or singing. They also yearn to have beauty around them, in their home, and their work environment. It also says people with this name tend to be passionate, compassionate, intuitive, romantic, and to have magnetic personalities. Actually, I have to tell you, uh, when you're speaking, you had everyone's undivided attention. I mean, we're in a technologically advanced world where you're always looking at your phone, I don't think anyone looked at their phone when you were speaking. And just to wrap this up here, it says they are usually humanitarian, broad-minded, uh, broad and generous. Uh, because they are so affectionate and giving, they may be imposed on. They are romantic and easily fall in love, but may be easily hurt and are sometimes quick-tempered. So I just wanted to share that with thank everyone you. here about Tulsi. And I want to thank you very much for coming, visiting our community right here, District 28. I want to thank Ruben Wills for bringing you, Uncle Latch, and everyone else who was involved in bringing you here. And would you like to say anything to our viewers before you go? Uh, I just want to say thank you also to Councilmember Ruben Wills and all of your community leaders. Uh, and everyone who has given me this very warm reception. Um, servant leadership is strong, alive, and well in District 28, and I look forward to being a frequent visitor. Thank you so much. Namaste and aloha from Hawaii to all my friends in the Hindu American and Indian American community. I want to thank you personally so much for your incredible support throughout my campaign. This is an exciting day for all of us, and I look forward to working closely with you in the months and years to come, and to being a strong voice in Congress for the betterment and improvement of the U.S.-India relations and domestic issues of concern to you as Hindu and Indian Americans. Hawaii is known by everyone as the Aloha State. Aloha means heartfelt respect and love for others, regardless of their race or religion. The people of Hawaii have shown tonight in my victory that we are indeed a people of aloha. And I'm looking forward to your visiting our beautiful and wonderful state where you and your culture and your religion will be respected. My door will always be open to you. Thank you again so much for your support and encouragement. Aloha.
elegant floral design, we can help you beautify your event. No occasion is too big or too small. We specialize in floral decor and party planning for every event. Please call 718-322-9786. Please use promo code LUXMI for a discount. Listen to Chillin' with Rose, weekdays, 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. on the world's number one Chutney Soka station, Bacchanal Radio. One station, one voice, one nation. When thinking of shipping a barrel, box, or sending money back home, think of the name you can trust. Think Lapakan. Lapakan has been serving our community for over 25 years and a significant portion of every dollar spent at Lopakin goes to work in our community here and back home. Together, we are making a difference. For your shipping and money transfer needs, call Lopakin. Lopakin, the name we can trust. and pawn shop. Gold prices are on the rise. Visit Rockaway Gold Buyers to get the highest price on your jewelry today. Also, ask about our layaway plans. Also, pay all your bills with Payomatic. That's right. Pay your phone and cable, Macy's and card payment, mortgage and credit cards, and many more. We also do wire transfers and money orders with Western Union. Need cash? Get a four-month loan now. Mention code word LAKSHMI to receive no interest for the first month on any loan up to $500. Located conveniently on 10705 Rockaway Boulevard. Call and visit us today, 718-480-8343. Rockaway Gold Buyers and Porn Shop. <laughs> 